Wednesday. It's Wednesday night and I wanted to do this vlog just so that you'd understand the things that you're getting ready to see in this vlog. I didn't do any vlogging today. Um, I just had some stuff going on today and I just didn't do any. And then the evening got away from me and I was about to take my makeup off and I was thinking, oh, I wanted to at least explain the videos that you're about to see. Um, but I have this is like whatever little bit of makeup I have left on my face. I haven't actually done my cleanse yet for the evening. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the next few vlogs that you're going to see are gonna be some video footage from several days that I just kind of like would start doing some vlogging and then stop and I just never finished them. And so I just kind of like put, pieced them all together so that I could have a vlog to go up for tomorrow. So it's bits and pieces, uh, doctor's appointment, uh, just me being at home one day, just some randomness, nothing exciting, but you know, at least there'll be a vlog that goes up tomorrow. I mean, it's useful information. It's just not anything that made it into a full blown video. Yeah, so if you are interested in seeing some randomness, then go ahead and stay tuned. And in the meantime, I'd like to extend an invitation if you aren't a subscriber already to become a subscriber and hit that notification bell. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Monday. Happy Monday morning. I am actually headed for my annual physical. Hopefully you all do your annual physical every year. This is not my female one. This is uh, the other one. <laughs> I don't know what you call this one. It's just, I guess, my annual health physical. I don't know. But anyway, that's where I'm headed off to this morning. I'm actually seeing a new doctor that um, I have not seen before. Uh, I've just been a little bit more concerned about my doctor. I just don't feel like she gets to the root of things as well as I would like for her to. Um, so I decided a few months back that I was going to seek a new doctor. And so I am headed to see a new doctor for the first time. I'm hoping for, you know, just a better, I guess a better feel when I get into the doctor's office. Um, because I just, I, as much as I love the girls at the other doctor's office, they were always so sweet to me. I just felt like whenever it came to diagnosis, I don't know, I just felt like my doctor just wasn't thorough like it was sometimes it was like she'd ask my opinion and it was like well you're the doctor you know I don't know it was just kind of weird and I just kind of started thinking that I'm getting older and I don't want something to get missed because I'm not the doctor I don't know what's what you know okay I just survived my physical which was not really a lot done they just asked me a lot of questions and this doctor was definitely more thorough than my last doctor as far as explaining things and all that good stuff so that was good um but she didn't do like the ekg and stuff so i don't know i guess that's kind of different but um yeah so anyway i don't know i guess you win some you lose some because i was expecting an ekg and i didn't have one of those so but it's all good um I'm having my records transferred over to her, so that's going to be a good thing. Um, she can look at all the records because my main concern is about the the arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis slash don't have slash that genetic thing that's inside my bloodstream or whatever that thing, whatever that is. So I am concerned about that. Um, I don't have any pains or anything more so than I did before you know my knee hurts me sometimes and doesn't sometimes and do sometimes so but I'm concerned because I don't know what that is and I just want a second opinion because I felt like she didn't um like really give me as much of that information as I kind of wanted her to so 
Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Tuesday. <clears throat> it's Tuesday afternoon. I've been job searching. I've been, I've got an assessment test I got to take for one of the jobs that I applied for. By the way, let the record show, I think assessment tests are the most stupid, stupidest thing that employers have come up with ever because they tell you absolutely nothing. What tells you about a person is sitting in front of them, face to face, eyes to eyes, getting to know that person. One interview, interview number two. But someone taking an assessment test does nothing. I don't get it. Like society, we have gone so far in left field that I, I oh, it just, oh, it behooves me. It just behooves me. But I'm going to take an assessment test shortly. My little setup over there. I did my PJs and coffee time video today. Y'all got my hair in the updo. Y'all, what y'all think? What y'all think? Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Got a little, you know, preoccupied there with something I was trying to get done. But uh, yeah, so anyway. Oh, sorry, I was listening to something. <clears throat> But yeah, so I just got a little bit preoccupied. But yeah, so today I've been quite the busy bee. I got up this morning with the intention to actually physically go out to the gym. And then I texted one of my subscribers and um, she shared with me a bit of bad news. And it kind of changed my mind about leaving the house. I, I, I felt like at that point I needed to just sit down and be there for her. And I was, um, but that took me to doing something that I wanted to share with you all. I've been doing resistance strengthening. Um, I've been doing it for a while now. I just hadn't really like talked about it. But today I had like a major workout in it. And I can actually, like I feel like I, like it's like I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit better. So today's workout was just fantastic. I've got the resistant bands and then I've got um, therapy loops and I've just loved them. I've been doing like um, lunges type things with them. I've been doing a lot of different things with them. And so I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, just because I know that that's something that's good for us people in our age group that can, um, you know, help us to build some mus muscle power and things like that. So just had to share that with y'all. Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Tuesday night. So it is Tuesday night. I haven't vlogged all day because I was working on my surprise foundation video that's gonna go up on Friday. I didn't want to like stop and vlog and have like, it just was too much for me. So I decided I'm just gonna wait until I get that all taken care of. And then I would do a very quick OOTD and this will blend in with tomorrow's vlog. So this is actually Tuesday night, uh, May 7th. And then this vlog is going, this OOTD is gonna be mixed in with Wednesday's vlog. So let me show you my OOTD for today. I am wearing another one of my necklaces from a stash, y'all. I love, love this necklace. This is one of my favorites. I like the fact that it's got this big gaudy stone. Did I mention that I like gaudy? Hmm. Really? Me? Gaudy? Nah. Right, yeah, okay. So anyway, I like that. I just like all of that that's going on right there. And then, of course, I was like looking through my earrings, and I was like, hey, these... The colors in this matches perfectly. So I decided to pull out these big old loops and they're super lightweight. I mean, they're like nothing. So I know they look really big, but they have no weight to them whatsoever. All of the stuff, old. Can't link, can't tell you nothing about it. I don't even know where I purchased it at. It's just, oh, I've had it for some time, okay? So, but yeah. And then I just kind of threw on the spangle brain. I just kept on my same go-to stuff on this hand. I got my coach watch and y'all know my bracelet my famous bracelet and here. then I guess you're looking at my Burberry shawl <laughs> not uh, I don't know I saw this at TJ Maxx a while back and I was like oh my god that is so cute it was like a $14 fine at TJ Maxx couldn't beat it though love the fact that it's a long shawl and then of course y'all know I have to do my own little twist to it I decided to tie it up, of course, drop it off the shoulder. So as you can see, the kimono is much longer than the one that I had on the other day. I decided to tie it up because I just feel like, I think it just kind of hangs better with the tie. So I just did the double knot tie. 
And then I have on a pair of my black shorts, and I think these came from TJ Maxx. They have the distress in the front on both sides. And then I want to say this is probably like a Walmart tankini. Of course, my shoes. I don't know how well you can see it. The lighting in here is a little bit off. But um, yeah, so I have on, these are my Lucky Brand shoes that I bought a while back at none other than TJ Maxx. So basically my entire outfit is compliments of TJ Maxx with the exception of this whole tankini that I have on. And the hair, y'all, is looking pretty windblown and pretty distressed because I just been out in the rain. I've been running around on the playground. Yes, dressed like this <laughs> with my grandson. It wasn't planned. It was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I talked to my son. My grandson wanted to see his Gigi, so I met them at the park. Well, I went to their house, actually, and then we went to the park. So I've been running around at the park. <laughs> but I had a blast with him. I love that little guy. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog.